Tabletop Island. I'm Bernardo, your host, and today we're going to make this a little bit quick here. Board Game Nights. Now, we're in the Halloween theme. Do you guys have special treats that you guys make? If you do have specific ones, leave recipes down in the comment section because I'm very excited to hear about them. But here are a few that I enjoy very much. One of them being these really cool apple cinnamon twist mummies. I've actually recently started making these or testing it before my big um, game night Halloween theme. Uh, another one that I've been known to make is are these bats made of Oreo and Reese's. They look so cool and they're just so fun and easy to make. I'm a big fan of simplicity. Now the other thing if you want to utilize those Reese's pieces for more things because I hate buying things just to make one thing out of it. You can also make these really cool witches brooms. They're very easy to make. Get a pretzel, stick it in the middle and voila you're done. <laughs> just don't make the same mistake as me. Poke out the holes with something solid first so then it doesn't break on you. Uh, another good tip slash trick would be to cool it in the fridge to make it hard so it doesn't just completely crumble to nothingness. Now if you're trying to do that whole broom thing with a more healthy side, I have some friends who create like this cheese witch's broom where they use string cheese and that pretzel. And if you're being a little bit fancy, you can get like chives or something to tie it around. There's a few different things you can use if you're trying to make it edible. And finally, for those health peeps out there, and you want to go and dive a little bit more into that, we have these banana ghosts. I've made these before for a few friends. And the pumpkins, which utilizes a piece of celery and an orange. Very simple, I know. I'm sorry I don't have so many amazing different recipes, especially for the healthier options. But I really just wanted to dive into a little bit on the ones I've made and the ones I'm familiar with. There is one I'm excited about. Uh, if you guys have any that you're excited about, maybe not have even tried or want to try. I also want to hear about these because this one I'm really excited for. It is these almost pizza roll skulls. They look so cool. Ah, just want to, uh, I like them. And they utilize like the stencil and then you put the toppings inside and then you bake them that way. I found on Amazon that cool tray. So I'm considering making that too for my special night, but I'm not quite certain yet. Uh, again, I'll leave the link in the description for that specific recipe because there's a video for it and I very much enjoyed it and it might get you excited about a few things and might get you more excited to dive into it. Now I know this is a board game channel, but I want it to be all around. There's a few different arts and crafts projects I'll be talking about soon, such as how to make these really awesome clouds. Um, but that is honestly all I have for you guys today. I do apologize for the late videos. I actually had Betrayal House on the Hill crash my computer and it wasn't exporting which is crazy to me because I should be able to run this no problem. It ended up being bigger than my Fireball Island video which if you didn't know, now you know. I had to buy an entirely new computer just to get that video exported to make the channel on time. <laughs> yeah, fun fact on that one. Thank God we didn't have to do that again. But that is all I have for you guys today. Again, please like, comment, and subscribe. I do appreciate any feedback. I'm trying to make these videos more and more outrageous. And with your guys' help, I have been doing so. I, I've been very thankful for a lot of the people that have been interacting more um, recently, which is great. I'm trying to make a lot of these changes fit for everyone. So if something doesn't go towards where I'm aiming the channel towards, please don't be offended. But I've done quite a bit in implementing a lot of these changes. Again, if you're interested in the bell notification, there is a bell up there somewhere. If you hit that, you'll be notified when my new video is. Monday, regular board game reviews. Wednesday, weekly updates slash talks. And then on Friday is my vintage board game reviews. That is all I have for you guys today. I will see you guys next time.